With Tommy Reese in Tuscaloosa, who will Marcus Freeman call on to be the next OC at Notre Dame? Freeman may be young, but I guarantee that his Rolodex is not lacking for names to call in this situation. Between playing at Ohio State, his stint in the NFL, of course, he worked on Daryl Hazel's staff at Purdue. Uh, he had his D.C. spot at Cincinnati. He's got plenty of people that he can ring up for this. Uh, first things first, though, how good of a job is this? In back-to-back -back years, the Irish have lost their head coach and now their offensive coordinator to SEC schools. Uh, what does that say about the program in South Bend? For starters, the future of the quarterback room looks incredibly bright. Uh, Wake Forest quarterback Sam Hartman, the all-time ACC touchdowns leader, has transferred in for this season. He's already on campus. And then, of course, you've got five-star recruit C.J. Carr set to take over the reins in 2024. I would imagine that he will give a look at Gerard Parker, who was the OC at West Virginia in 2020 and 2021 before he was the tight ends coach at Notre Dame this season. Uh, Parker was the interim head coach at Purdue when Freeman was the D.C. there, and Parker has coached wide receivers at Duke under Cutcliffe, uh, at Penn State under James Franklin, and then, of course, West Virginia with Neil Brown. If Freeman wants continuity, then that's likely your guy. The familiarity there is something that you can't get past. Now, as far as outside candidates are concerned, the name Joe Brady continues to be brought up. Brady has made it abundantly clear that he wants to work in the NFL. He's got one year of college experience, albeit a national title season at LSU, where he helped transform Joe Burrow into the NFL superstar that he is today. Joe Moorhead has been brought up, as I mentioned earlier, with Nick Saban reaching out to him. Moorhead wants to be a head coach. Akron is willing to be patient while he builds his program. Uh, interesting name here, Andy Ludwig, the offensive coordinator at Utah. He makes a ton of sense. He runs similar stuff to what the Irish were already running under Reese. Multiple personnel groups. He loves throwing to the tight ends. You know, for example, Dalton Kincaid and uh, Brent Keithy. Uh, play action passes. He runs inside and outside zone for pro style sets. Uh, that's, a, that's a good get if they can get it. Another name to pay attention to might be Toledo head coach Jason Candle. Now, we've already seen Sean Lewis, Kent State head coach, leave to become Deion Sanders' offensive coordinator at Colorado. So it's not that far-fetched, as Notre Dame could pay him nearly double what he's currently making as a MAC head coach, which is about $1.1 million. Uh, Candle is only coached at Mount Union and Toledo, but he was Matt Campbell's offensive coordinator at both places before getting the Toledo head coaching job in 2016 when Campbell left. Now, Candle was born in Ohio, and he's only ever coached in Ohio. Freeman was born in Ohio. He played in Ohio. So it's possible Candle could be willing to make uh, an unlikely jump from head coach to offensive coordinator if it's a chance to further his career. And I do want to mention uh, Marcus Arroyo and former Texans OC Pep Hamilton here as well, because, like, honestly, this search could go in any direction. I, I'm sure that we'll see more out of South Bend on this soon. Uh, but, you know, don't sleep on the possibility that the D.C. Al Golden uh, might leave to jump back to the NFL as well. Uh, there's been a lot of... Uh, there's been a lot in flux around the Notre Dame program right now. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.